Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. This channel is called This is China. And if you don't know what I do on this channel, I make videos about China. And today I'm taking you guys for a walk here at the most biggest, I guess, tourist attraction spot here in Qingdao. It's amazing. And as you can see here in China, there's a lot of people coming out to enjoy their freedoms again. Now that said, today we're gonna touch on something really important that's been bothering me for a while now. As you saw in the title, the title is The World Hates China. And what do I mean with that, I hear you ask. Let me explain. I am a YouTuber and I make videos about China and my videos are normally positive videos about China. But the weird thing is, anything that I post online about China just get this hatred comments daily. So as we all know, China is busy winning this pandemic and the people that were criticizing China back when it just started are the same countries that are struggling now. They are essentially burning right now. These countries are filled with riots. They are filled with hatred. Man, there's people that are angry, unrest, uncertainty. And hey, guess what? Here in China, things are getting back to normal. So when this pandemic broke out here in China, the world jumped onto this bandwagon and just pointed fingers at China, criticizing them for everything they do. You know, they blamed them for the virus. They even criticized them for not handling the virus correctly. Yeah, and then of course the racial attacks. You know, the poor innocent Chinese people that stayed in other countries, they were attacked by people and they were blamed and just criticized for being Chinese. Oh yeah, and then the international travel ban came up where the United States blocked Chinese from coming into the United States and this happened around the world. Again, they treated the Chinese so bad. Anyway, so as the months went on, and the virus broke out around the world. These countries were still pointing fingers at China, you know, and guess what did China do? They kept their mouth shut, they kept their head down, they implemented systems, they worked with their people, they got their people under control, they got their people into lockdowns. They were fighting the virus while the world were just blaming China for everything. Now, if you know just this little bit about Chinese culture, you will know this people don't like confrontation. They don't like fighting. And that is exactly what the Chinese did. They kept quiet and they kept on fighting this virus their way on the best systems possible. As the virus started to blow over in China and the world saw that China is busy winning this virus with these systems that they've been criticized on, their country started to fall into trouble. The West thought they were so smart that they implemented their own systems and they tried to blame China for racism, for the pandemic, for being communist, for being I don't know, for eating noodles. They were trying to blame China for every goddamn thing at that stage. And again, China just stayed focused and they kept on fighting this virus with their fantastic systems. China did so well controlling the virus and 1.4 billion people that I think the world got so jealous because their countries fell into trouble and there was no way of controlling this people, especially if you have a democratic country. Now there's a lot of information that I left out which happened during this time. But I'm just trying to get to a point here, right? Well, let me give you my two cents on this. In the beginning, I feel the West used this pandemic as a tool to start a movement against China. They were trying to trigger China into making bad moves of getting this country into chaos. And what happened? The Chinese stayed stable. They kept their heads on their shoulders. They kept on fighting this virus. They didn't care about all this nonsense going on the world blaming them and speaking so bad about China and trying to move them into this chaos mess. America 100% was trying to destabilize China because they are jealous of the economy. Australia, one of the countries that I think is one of the coolest places, they were attacking China and they were telling China to back off out of the country because they believe China is busy buying up the land over there in Australia. And there's so many countries that tried so hard to destabilize China, to insult China to bring China down, to let the people turn on their own government. And yeah, it didn't work. This is the only country that are busy going back to normal. I mean, look at all the people behind me. They are coming out daily. They go back to work. I see a lot of people don't wear face masks anymore. And there's only one reason, and that is the people are following what's been said to them. They believe in their government, they trust their government, and they love their country, plain and simple. China was an example for the world. The world could have copied and pasted what China did in their own countries. But again, I don't even think it would have worked because most countries in the West are democratic. So here's the thing I want to throw out there today for you guys. Don't let the name the Communist Party of China fool you. 
They are not really a communist party. I can tell you guys now, this is true leadership over here in China. And oh yeah, you guys know the word karma, right? Well, what happened now in America was a white police guy that killed George Floyd, a black guy, and riots are busy starting all over America. So much so that they are moving Donald Trump into a bunker for protection in the White House. The world is in chaos and yet they still blame China for everything. Guys, open your eyes. China is moving back to normal. This is great leadership over here in China. Do not let the media try to fool you into hate China. I know you guys need to believe that China is bad, but China is not bad. It's a well-oiled running machine over here in China. I want to tell you guys out there, do your own research. Watch YouTube channels such as this one. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. Go check out their channels. Go read tweets from leaders. Draw up your own conclusion about what's happening over here in China. And also, before you go spew some hatred about China, think for yourself. If you've never been here, how the hell can you say anything about China? That is just proof that the media got you by the hair. You believe everything they try to tell you and make you believe. Please get out of it. You are an adult. China is an amazing place, such as this city I'm staying in called Qingdao, China. And yes, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments on this video, but do you not worry out there. I've got my weasel destroyer here with me. Let's torch that little weasel's comments. And that brings it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I want to say thank you to all the guys that support me on Patreon, buy me a coffee, super chat steering live streams. But most importantly, get yourself subscribed. Just make sure you are subscribed with notifications on and I'll see you. Haters, lovers, world in the next video. Bye.